Luke's going to play. Um, so what we have here, so first of all, thank you everyone for allowing us to come. Um, it's really nice to be over here and to be present at the first US Red Special Meeting. That means to define audience of people. Hey! Uh, we've got a really good thank you at the end, but whilst we've got the mic, I want to say thank you to Luke for putting us all on, because without him, none of us would be here. Um, and thanks everyone for coming too, because you know it's great to actually put some faces to names from some people that you know listened to, spoke to, read forum posts for years, finally had to shake people's hands, not catch coronavirus, and, um, <laughs> and see you all, which is great. And then we've got an absolutely fantastic range of stuff. But what I want to talk about right now, it's Doug Short has brought with him all the way from Scotland, is the Andrew Guyton Red Special Transporter guitar. And why this is special is this came around from um, it's a chap in the UK called Martin Pitcher, who um, loves Brian May. He's actually, if anyone has heard Bri uh, Brian play, if anyone has heard Martin play, he's possibly one of the most similar style and sounding Red Special players to Brian himself. <laughs> that would be good, I was saying. And Max, 11, yeah, and plays something. So Martin had this idea that he wanted to travel, like he travels around a lot. And he has a guy in red special, and he thought it would be nice to have something that was easier to transport. So Martin came up with this design, he sent it to Andy Guyton, Andy looked at it, um, it was pretty busy, so he didn't have any time to do it. And in, I think it was 2017, Andy had a look at it and got back to Martin and said, yep, we've got to sign off, we can start building these things. So Andy went into production making 25 limited edition. Um, RS transporters, and in every way they're designed to be and sound like the Red Special guitar. So um, the construction has been designed to mimic as best as possible with not using block board and necessarily all the correct words as close as possible to the Red Special. Um, so the neck is mahogany with oak fretboard. The neck is exactly the same size as the Red Special neck, so if anyone wants to know what it feels like to hold in your hand, Andy's used the exact same specification he used. Um, the body is mahogany, but it does have chambers in it to make it sonically the same or similar. It's also got oak inlaid in the middle, and it has um, pine, I think, or plywood. Pine, pine, pine rails, inside yeah. for the pickups to mount to, just the same as the original does, to try and mimic those son sonic responses and reverberations. Um, it has six switches like the original, but they're push buttons, which I actually find easier to change on the fly than using the sliders. Um, it has three Addison or Addison Guyton spec trisonic pickups, so they are arguably the closest pickups you will find. A chap in England called Adrian Turner bought the original Fenton Well from Burns and makes the pickups. He took samples of original pickups, took them to Bath University, they analysed them, they told him what magnets they were, what metals were in them, and he's had it all replicated. So they're, they're the real deal, they're as close as you can get. Um, and then he put it together with this J Custom headless, so it looks a little bit like the guitars from the end of Bill and Ted. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Whoa, it's down! <laughs> um, wrong audience. Um, he then spoke to Nigel Knight, the cat who made the Deaky amp for Brian and for all of us, and is heavily involved in all of Brian's setup and rig. And Nigel created this custom PCB that sits underneath the um, scratch plate that houses all of the wiring for the switching and also has a built-in cat travel booster with this nice shiny red button. So I think we're just going to play it through the fryer, um, but we could unplug it. Yeah, so another little lovely trick is when it's on, you press the button and you know it's on because the red button lights up. So arguably this is, I mean I've played one and this one is particularly lovely. It was Craig Farley, commissioned by Craig Farley, who's a Queen Tribute act in, or Queen Tribute guitarist. Brian May, very good, um, in the UK, and it's now being looked after by Doug Short. I think Brian May, very good, could be the name of this, you know. <laughs> John, do you, want, do you want to mention that Brian actually uses one as his warm-up guitar? Yeah, so Brian, um, Andy made one for Brian as well, so throughout this whole process, Brian was signed off on it, and um, Brian actually has a red one that Andy made for him, and Brian uses that one to warm up every night, so that Brian's transporter now goes everywhere with him. <laughs> So he's got something to warm up on. So you see in a lot of his Instagram posts hidden in the background as he's warming up. So it comes with proper, proper, I don't think the right word. Brian likes it. That's probably the best yeah. thing. So Luke's going to play through it. So 
arguably it's as close as we can get to with Andy's input having right. analyzed and worked on and repaired and restored the original red special. So look over to you. You're gonna get really sick of this red. Bit of bow wrap on the uh, outer face. If you, if you fancy it, Luke. I'll try it. Jo well, just just demo the outer face. <laughs> Pretty good on my converted strat too, but yeah. Hello, dog. Hello, dog. Hello. Yeah. 